What's up YouTube, Jeep and Bubba here, coming at you with the October events and updates video. I want to tell you about a couple upcoming events. I want to tell you about some business happenings over here at Black Bear Off-Road. And I want to tell you about a couple videos that you'll see next on this channel. So let's get right into the events. Don't have a lot of them for you. Uh, lifts and loggers at Drown Valley Brewing. That's going to be Sunday the 13th. Uh, that's coming up this weekend. Not sure when you're watching this video, but that is... Sunday, October the 13th from 12.30 to 3.30 uh, in Cartersville at Drown Valley Brewing. Again, that's lifts and loggers. I'll be out there bringing the Jeep. I might even bring the Overland trailer with me. Um, we will see, but I will be there the whole time hanging out, having a beer. Let's uh, let's uh, see you out there. That'll be a good time. So that's it for October. Uh, in November, go ahead and mark your calendars for November the 24th. That's going to be our fourth annual, maybe even our fifth, I think it's fourth, but uh, barbecues and brews. So free barbecue, free beer on Black Bear Off-Road. Uh, last year we had a bounce house. I think we're going to bring that back. We're talking about live music this year, and we're right across from Elixir Brewing. So we're thinking a couple hours of barbecues and brews at the shop, and then maybe like a happy hour over at Elixir Brewing as well. So um, looking forward to that. It's always a great time to get everybody out at the shop. Um, so uh, mark that in your calendars. I'll remind you again next month on our next month's updates and events video. I'll also make a Facebook event for that uh, very soon, probably uh, in the next day or two. So you'll see that. Now, you'll see that we're not doing any real events uh, this month in October. And there's good reason for that. And that is in our next section, businesses things going on at Black Bear Off-Road. So what's going on is we just expanded into the shop right next to our current location. So I'm sitting in my new office right now filming this video. So we are going to be located at 239 East Marino Street and it's literally right next door to 219 East Marino Street where we've been for the last four years. The reason we did this is because we need more shop space. We need to get, we, we've been booked out three, five, six weeks at a time all year long um we need to hire another mechanic probably do that next year um and we'd like to have lifts we have not had a two post lift this entire time we've worked on vehicles on the ground with jacks and jack stands so um, we're in the new shop now uh, we're still moving that's been pretty stressful and um we have a lot going on and i'll get into some of that but uh, it's a beautiful location. It's on the main road. Our other shop on the same street was down a hill. A lot of people drive by and not see us. Now we're right on Marino Street. We're one street behind Main Street in historic downtown Buford, right behind Elixir Brewing. So I have a little bit bigger uh, office space, not that much bigger, but I'm able to display a little bit more stuff. I've got some new products from Moose Knuckle, and we're going to start carrying a few more products that I haven't carried in the past right here in the store, uh, right here in my office. So you can come in. And, um, and we'll have a little bit more for you to uh, parouse and maybe buy while you're here, um, if, that's, if, you, if you're interested. Um, we have a little bit more space to work on vehicles, more storage, uh, and again, we're keeping that space on 219. Now, what we're doing with that space is I'm going to be using one bay strictly for wheels and tires um one reason was to just not bring all that equipment up here it makes it a lot easier for us that's real heavy um but it takes up a lot of shop space so it keeps us a little more room in the new shop and we're also going to be working with ryan from johnny's pizza he's going to be doing audio for us down there so we're using the other bay to do audio lighting wiring electrical work um stuff you can do on a in a flat bay that um and it also gives us a little bit more parking, a little bit more storage, um, gives us a little bit more road frontage, a little bit more awareness, and it's going to help us as we expand in the future. So I don't think we're going to be here forever. I'm loving this situation right now, and the thought of moving again sounds horrible, but I'd love to buy in the future. I'm renting. It's the same landlord in this building as next door. My rent's basically tripling because I'm having two buildings, and this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit more expensive. There's a lot of cost to get it up and running um, as far as business licenses and, and sign permits and all these sorts of things, um, and new equipment. And um, I'm not getting any kind of loan. I'm just having to, to – we've had a, a, a good year. We've, we're, we've been productive so far this year. We're, we're doing better numbers-wise this year than we ever have. So it just makes sense to expand – 
Um, but it's difficult and it's stressful and, and we've had a lot of people stop by already and check it out and it's been a revolving door. It's been a little wild and crazy. So um, I, I'm uh, grateful for this opportunity. Uh, we're getting settled in here and, and we're still booking work and we're, and we're working on a lot of vehicles right now. And we have a lot of uh, a nice builds going up right now. We're always posting those on Instagram and Facebook as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into some rides this fall and winter, doing some more events. I'd like to do some more at Johnny's Pizza and at Elixir. And, of course, we'll be out at uh, anything that Notorious Jeep Club puts together, some Georgia Jeep Alliance, of course, with Silver Dollar Lee over at Bubba's. But it seems like a good time to just take a little breather and catch up on what we've got going on in house and that's what we've got to do this month and a little bit next month because next month we're headed to SEMA now I've gone to SEMA now it's probably seventh or eighth year but we're gonna have a feature vehicle there and what a feature vehicle is is you basically you're not in a booth you're not like let's say at the Toyo booth or you're not at uh, the cons that will be whatever you're not at a booth per se and that would be even more prestigious than what a feature vehicle is but what a feature vehicle is an exhibitor can um, can back you and say like hey this is this is a vehicle that's used a lot of our products and and we'd like to have a, a feature vehicle and they sprinkle them in and around the show they're in front of the doors as you come in they're inside um, uh, the display area they're they're all over the place and so can cut drill bits and cutting tools they backed us up on this one we're bringing Stephen Morris's Jeep you might have seen it before it's got a seven inch lift 44 inch tires big Dana 60 80 axles is a 392 it's awesome it's been a labor of love he's done a lot of work himself on it we've done a ton of work on it there's a ton of parts on it in time and I think it's a great display of what our shop can do um, when we work you know hand in hand with the customer and, and we take our time and, and we put it all together so um, it's going to be getting shipped out here in about a week and a half or so and uh, it's it's just about there it's almost ready to go we'll get uh, get it shined up with some detailer products and uh, and we just got a few last minute things to do put some decals on it that sort of thing so we're super excited to have a feature vehicle it's a little more stress I've got to fly out a few days early to get it in the parking spot it's got to be in uh, I gotta stay there a little later to make sure it gets on the transport. So uh, we're not gonna be driving it out. We thought about towing it out there. I've thought about buying a new truck, a 2500, so I can start towing. I might uh, start towing Blue Jeep around. I don't know, but I'm not rushing that at this moment. So um, we're getting it transported out by Carpool Logistics. Um, they're a friend of Can Cuts, and they worked us an awesome deal. They've been great to work with. So we're very excited to have that out there and um, if you're going to be at SEMA we'd love for you to see it. It's also going to be in the Battle of the Builders which there's 200 vehicles that are going to be in the Battle of the Builders and it's not going to be you know the top of the the, the it's not going to be best in show at SEMA at all but it is in the 4x4 category. It's going to be competing with other 4x4s and traditionally they'll pick a older 4x4 but I love to just be in the mix be in the dance just be there doing it and maybe there's a chance we get in the top 40 or something like that and that'd be cool because then they move you to the main stage you get to go to a dinner and I'm excited about that potential opportunity if you don't know what SEMA is SEMA is the specialty equipment manufacturers association you have to be in the industry to go to this event now um, starting last year they did let a few people from the public in on Fridays you still have to be uh, automotive adjacent you somehow to get into this and what it is is it's at the Las Vegas Convention Center there's seven buildings there and they're packed to the brim with every manufacturer you can think of tools audio off-road hot rod wheels tires anything performance it's all gonna be there and um, it's a good time for us to go see new products and do new business and we put out a lot of content that week so I'll be out there um, uh, Steven obviously be out there. Silver Dollar Ventures is going to go out there with it this this year. Um, Tony's going to be out there with us this year. Uncle T, Tactical Tony, you might know him, maybe not. Um, Nicole's going to be out there with me, and we're going to get as much content as possible. We're going to uh, talk to all the vendors, and and we're going to show off this build. So we're very excited for this year. But that that happens the first week of November. I'm actually going out of town on the 16th. I'll be here till lunch on the 16th. Then I'm headed to Orange Beach with my family, and we'll be down there for a week. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a crazy time. We're just moving into the shop. We're gonna. We decided to close 
Thursday and Friday, two weeks in a row. Okay, so we're going to close on the 17th and the 18th, which is Thursday and Friday. We'll be back open the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. I've got those dates booked out. The guys will be here in the shop doing a few things. Actually, they're going to be doing gears from Andy from CanCut's Jeep. They're going to be doing um, basically two gear jobs, uh, one on a Gladiator as well. And then we'll be closed again on the 24th and 25th. And that makes things a little bit easier for me because I'm not worried about what's going on back home at the shop. It gives them two four-day four, four weekends in a row. And I'm going to tell you, these guys need that break because they've been doing more hours than they've ever done. And um, they're tired and they, they deserve it. So we're looking forward to giving them some time off while I get to spend some time with my family down at the beach. And we're, we're looking forward to that quite a bit. So then I'll be back in town. I'll be back in the office on the 28th. I'm back that whole week. And then Saturday night at 10 o'clock, I get on a plane and fly out to Vegas. I'm there for a week, and I'll fly back the following. While I'm there, I'm going to take the opportunity to rent a Jeep. I found a company. It's uh, Las Vegas Jeep Tours. I'm going to rent a Jeep from them. Um, it's lifted. It's on 35s. And I'm going to be going out to uh, the badge that's out there in, in the Red Rock uh, Canyon area. Uh, I think it's called Rocky Gap Road. And that'll be the last badge I get this year. Um, looking forward to getting one more. I've lost count. I think I'm at 42 or 43, but looking forward to grabbing that. And, of course, I'll film that and make a video for you because I don't like to run this channel without um, at least one or two wheeling videos a month. So I'm going to make sure I grab that for you. Um, but we're looking forward to having the barbecue here. We should have everything nice and tidy by then. And it should be our biggest one ever. And it's great that we have Elixir right across the road from us, a big parking lot. And um, we can really spread out and everyone can come check out the shop. And um, again, we're going to start doing some more audio. We've done audio in the past. Jackson was our main audio guy. And he uh, uh, he's in school full time now. So we've kind of lost that. So it's great to have Ryan come in and help us a couple days a week and, and do audio. So looking forward to doing that. Uh, let's book an audio job for you guys if you need one. Um, and so that's it with Black Bear. Videos coming up, okay? So I'm really excited to tell you uh, about the next couple of videos. You get this update video. I think what I'm gonna do is film at Lips and Loggers on Sunday and just do a quick video hitting you with it on Friday next week. And then uh, the last Friday of this month um, is when I'm driving back from Orange Beach. There's going to be a video from last year. So last year, I was headed out to do a trip um, with my family out in um, Utah. And I got to Texas. I was staying at a friend's house. And we, I had been going through some health issues, mental health issues, and, and physical health issues. And I got to Texas, and I just told Nicole, I, I can't go any further. I'm just... I'm exhausted. I'm anxious. Uh, I, I, I mean, I was just, I, I was, had just started antidepressants and it just wasn't working. It wasn't clicking for me. And so what's special about this video is we turned around and decided that we were going to go uh, to Orange Beach, funny enough. Uh, my parents were going to be down there for the week and, and we said, let's just go down there and just decompress. And so we had a few days to get back before they were going to be down there. So we stopped in the Talladega National Forest and we camped uh, for a night and then we just drove the trails the next day. And, and I actually lost the SD card for this video and I just found it maybe like a month ago. And it's weird to look at it, to watch these videos and edit it because you can't really tell what I'm going through in these videos but I was really struggling mentally. Like I know what was going on up here behind the eyes of that Jeep and Bubba and he was not, he was not feeling good. He wasn't doing good. And um, I'm so happy that, you know, I went to the doctors. I did six months of, of antidepressants and it was painful. It wasn't enjoyable. I did seven months of sobriety uh, along with it. I did a lot of working out. I did a lot of mental searching. I did some meditation. I, I, I worked on my diet. I worked on my sleep cycle. I, I've, I took a, it's been almost a whole year to get to where I'm at today. And, and getting in this new shop, I've had a lot of anxiety, but no depression with it. And um, it's good because I'll get anxious for a couple hours and I just know, breathe, you know, focus, everything's going to be okay. It's going to work out. And I, I, I'm so much in a better mental state this year. And I know that this is not something that just goes away. It's something I'm going to do with the rest of my life. 
But one thing that I think is important for anyone watching this to know, if you're going through this or you're going through a tough time, is that it's not always going to be this way. And you don't know that when you're going through it. It's very difficult. It's very hard. Um, and, uh, and you're going to have to continue to battle with it. And there's some people who lose that battle. Um, and, and you just don't give up hope. Because it feels like, it feels like there's nothing. There's not. There's nothing that's gonna fix it. Um, that you're just not gonna get there. You gotta ask for help. You you gotta have conversations you don't want to have. You've got to look at yourself and not be so judgmental, but say what can I do to fix some of these things. You gotta take proactive steps, and you're just not in a, a place where it's easy to take proactive steps. So. This video is very special and important to me. I want to take a moment to talk about it because I'm not really going to take a lot of time to explain that video so much. I might mention a little bit at the end of the video because I really think it's important to talk about mental health, especially for men. Um, when you look at a guy like me, you know, big, big guy, 35 years old, business owner, burly, got the beard, tough. You probably think he, he's got, he's not worried about anything. He doesn't have. Uh, these stresses going on he's just happy go lucky and that's true but as I get older I get more and more responsibilities you know I've got a house and kids and 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 people who rely on me not only my own families but the families of my employees and a lot of people around me that need my help and and it's a lot of pressure and a lot of stress and I'm glad that that God has given me the opportunity to be that person for so many people to be helpful but it's okay to it's okay to um, to talk about it doesn't make you weak and um, so that's what's special to me I think we need to talk about it and get it out there um, and uh, you, you don't have to feel like anyone's pitying you you know it's not a pity party it wasn't for me when I talked about it with with other guys it's it's surprising how many people told me hey I'm going through the same things right now it's been difficult for me too and I'm glad you're you're, you're opening up and talking about it so um, Look forward to getting that video out to you guys, and I hope it does well, and I hope people see it. It's a special place. Talladega is an awesome place. I'd love to go back and explore it more. Our campsite was awesome. I think it's something I needed at that time, and um, I'm just glad my kids and my wife were around, and it was just it was just good to spend that time with them. So I'm going to put that video out. Then the following week, I'm going to show you a little bit of our trail to SEMA, getting out there, some of the things going into that. Then of course I'll show you content from SEMA the following week and then I'm going to put out the video from Wheeling Out in Las Vegas um, and then we're well into November at that point. I do want to go do a Beasley ride whether that's in early December or maybe in November and and obviously I, I want to do some camping this winter and uh, before you know it the year's over and we're into next year but as you know when I talk about the southeast the best time to go camping and wheeling uh, to me is in December, um, late November and early January. It's going to get cold and rainy as we get into the year, January, February, but the leaves are off the trees or they're falling and changing colors. Now we got to be conscious that there's a lot of trees down and damage from the hurricanes that have come through. And of course, there's a lot of people still dealing with that and our hearts go out to those people. Um, but as these, these places get cleared up and, and get better, um, obviously it's going to be a great time to, to go out and enjoy them. There's less people on the trails. And, and so we'd love to do some events and put some things out um, as well. Um, I do know that next year we're planning to do some more badge trail rides and... Um, it's gonna. It probably not something I can do as a group, like to put it out there. But it, um, just talking about getting badges, I'm getting my last one. Uh, I think I'm gonna go up to Roush, uh, Roush Creek, and uh, Anthracite, and and grab maybe five or six up in that northeast area. May go up to uh, New Hampshire. I think there's one as well. Um, so that's kind of our plan, and we're trying to gear up um, and figure out. You know, we're going to probably retire Blue Jeep as Nicole's daily driver, get her something else, and then figure out we might tow up there. I just don't want to put a lot of stress on the shop truck. It's just a 1500, but we can do some things like re-gear it um, and, and things like that um, to build it up. Or I might get a new truck. I'm also itching maybe in a year or two to, to trade it in. I've, I've thought about a Gladiator build or whatever. But that's all for the future. Um, let's just worry about <laughs> what's going on right now. I know there's tons of events going on as well, and if you go to the Black Bear Off-Road Trail Team page on Facebook, we're always posting those events, and we're also doing some giveaways right now. As I'm cleaning the shop, 
I found some t-shirts and, and some different parts that I thought maybe you guys would like to have. So we're doing a couple of different giveaways. Right now you can win one of five shirts on the site. I, I gave away some hats and shirts earlier last week. I'm probably going to discount some recovery gear that I'd like to sell and get some new product in. So these are some good opportunities and I'm only making that exclusive to the members of the Black Bear Off-Road Trail Team. And it's free to join it and it's just basically a community of off-roaders mostly based out of Georgia, the southeast. There's no meetings, there's no dues. It's just a, a, a safe group on Facebook where you can post and uh, it's not a lot of sales. It's mostly... Um, when I say that, I mean like not a lot of people selling used parts. There are a few here and there, but it's mostly people talking about riding and events and different things coming up. And uh, we monitor it. We've got some good admins, and uh, it's a, it's a really good group to join. We post all of our videos in there and stuff like that. So um, that's the Black Bear Off Road Trail Team on Facebook. It's a public group, so you don't even have to have Facebook to even go in there and look at the events and things like that. So hope to see you at an event soon, um, and I hope there's an adventure in your future. I'm Jeep and Bubba. Eat your prunes. We'll be seeing you.